What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 31 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We just finished battling the Collector, who was the master trainer for, um... Who was the master trainer for Route 12. And now we are trying to speed up the process of getting out of Route 12, and I'm ending up making it much slower than if I had just stayed on Mudbray and done it the old yield fashioned way. <laughs> oh my god. I keep trying to fast forward this process, but it's not working out well for me. So we're heading down to... We're heading down to the secluded shore. We briefly entered this area a moment ago. Here we go. Secluded shore. We got a swimmer down here, tossing his balls around. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, it's a her. It's, it's even better. Great. Awesome. Way, way to go, me. Way to go. <laughs> Alamomola. Excellent. Super physically defensive Pokemon, and I don't have uh, very many special attackers on my team right now. Nips takes on the Alamomola, and Ding's 36. And Swimmer Sarah has been defeated. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Nips is evolving, level 36, I guess. Who would have thunk it? Okay. Or maybe it's level 36 and evolves on the beach, or level 36 and evolves... What time is it? It's 5.44. I don't know if it's daytime or nighttime. So maybe one of those things. Could be happiness. It should have been ha full happiness already. I don't even know anymore. There's so many weird reasons that Pokemon evolve. But I'm just happy I finally have Lorantis. Oh my goodness. That's good news. I'm glad he finally evolved. I wish it would tell you, like on this screen, it should say, this is how it evolves. It evolves at this level or under these circumstances and conditions. It fires beams from its sickle-shaped petals. These beams are powerful enough to cleave through metal plates. Yeah, I know. I got cleft by one earlier when I first battled this guy. Petal Blizzard. Yeah. I'll learn Petal Blizzard. How strong are you? 90 power. Better than Leaf Blade. Wait, it's exactly the same as Leaf Blade. The only difference is that it's an AoE attack. But Leaf Blade has a higher chance of critting. Mm. I don't know that I've been relying on crits much, and I guess having the ability to hit multiple targets could be could be pretty useful. So I'll switch. All right, I need to be on Mudsbury at the moment. Is that another trainer? Is this secluded shore just a training zone where there's tons and tons of trainers? I hope not. <gasps> Sandy Gast, guys, look at this. So I was just battling through this and uh, he's about to send in a Pokemon called Sandy Gast. Uh, so, Sandy, so ground type. Gast could be anything, like gastric. It could be poison or water. Gast like ghastly, ghost. Um, let's just stay in with Fermantis. No. I gotta send in my weakest mon so I don't. Oh, wait, I'm not trying to catch it. Yeah, okay. Well, then we'll just stay in with Nips. What are you? <laughs> it's so cute. So it just, I mean, kind of looks like what you would have a ghost look like if you had a white sheet over you with like the little uh, wide open mouth and the arms. So it could be a ghost. I'll hit it with a petal blizzard. 
definitely ground type. So I wonder if there is an area here for me to catch Pokemon because this is a this is a sandy area and that was a sandy ghast. Is there an item on you? Sniff it out. I smell something. And there's also something over here. That's a big pearl. But was there something over here also? Yeah. Move it. Just all over this zone. Another pearl. Is that really what I was sniffing earlier? Or is there another thing? Okay. Let's keep running this... Uh... Aha! A Zygarde thing. And there's water here. If I look at the map on the bottom, it kind of goes out just a little bit. Not far. Another pearl. Hiding somewhere around. This guy's got a bunch of slow pokes. Slow. Can look, but you can touch. Or actually, you can touch, but you can't catch. All the slow poke of the beach are protected by the Alolan region. Okay. And someone attacked me while I was trying to feast on those berries. That's another crab brawler. Crab brawler goes down. And now what? Steal some berries here, and then are we pretty much done with the shore? I hope so. I don't want to spend too long here. Apricot, nice. Chesto, competitively viable. Cherry, don't even know what you do. Probably PP restoration. And an ass pear. <laughs> uh, oh, and there's another big pearl here. So many big pearls hidden out in this zone. Ah, uh, no, I I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have checked this water for for cool Pokemon to catch. Uh, there's a little fishing zone there, but I don't know. Maybe there's better fishing rods. The moment doesn't look like there's anything really useful here. Uh, I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna run this repel off me, and I'm just gonna check the water to see if there's any new Pokemon there or anything special. There we go. Don't replace that. We can come here. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we can. We can fish. If it's another Magikarp, though, if it's another Magikarp, I'm gonna lose my, all of, all of my shit, all of it. Ah! <laughs> what are you? Oh my god, sorry for the scream, I, re I gotta edit that volume down a little bit. A Bruxish, look at this thing. Look at that stupid face, it's so ugly, oh my word. I am so glad I decided to fish. I was seriously just gonna surf because fishing is just always magic heart, but look at this thing. I'm just sorry guys, I'm I'm taken aback and I'm like looking at it. So it's multicolored. Could mean that it's poison type. Um It's level 18. You know what we're gonna do right away is just throw a quick ball at it and really just test our luck. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Get in there. Stay in there. Ah, man. Ugh. Well, it was close. That's not gonna do the trick now. Next best thing, got a more low that's almost its level. Cute little more lull. That turn, you see that turnaround smack? Uh, oh, I have sleep powder. Even better. Put it to sleep. Go figure it. Aqua jets me just as I'm about to put it to sleep. 
It's actually a good thing. It means it has one few or one more guaranteed turn of sleep. Well, a greater number of guaranteed turns. It's just it's it's asleep. <laughs> it's asleep. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh my god. I was so scared. I crit it. Oh my god. <laughs> but it lived luckily. Uh, now, we're not going to throw a quick ball. We're just going to throw a regular old something. Honestly, if it's asleep and that low on health, a Pokeball will probably do the trick. I almost cut it full health with a quick throw, but that's literally what it's designed for. It doesn't work very often, but sometimes it does. But we get it. I'm really curious about his typing. Let's have a look. God, it's so ugly. Thank God it doesn't evolve. I can't even imagine what an evolved Bruxish would look like. Uh, it's Water Psychic. So another Water Psychic Pokemon. To join the ranks of the Slow Bro and King team. Um, we're going to just try and find something here. If we if it seems like it's just going to be the same 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 but different. No, not same same but different. Same same but same. Like if we just see another Tentacool or Magikarp or Finian or I guess I've seen a Goldeen at this point, then we know it's kind of just they're not trying to go anywhere unique with this. And so we'll probably just mosey on our our little way. So if you see one here, what you got? Show me something new? You sure aren't a Pelipper. It's just the evolved form of one of those other ones. So probably just a basic zone. Okay. Um, drizzling Pelipper. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. So we caught that Pelipper mainly because it has drizzle, which is really awesome really awesome basically making Pelipper competitively viable if we're being honest I mean it's like it's not as strong a Pokemon as <gasps> ooh nice Morla's evolving while we're at it it's not as strong a Pokemon as uh, Politoed is but Politoed doesn't really have reliable recovery and outside of throwing off rain boosted scalds uh, doesn't really bring a whole lot to the t it's like a weird kind of encores but Nice. Shyanotic. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't bring a whole lot more to the table really. It's it's but Pelipper can roost to recover, it can U-turn, uh, it gets hurricane stab, 100 percent accurate in the rain. So it really it it serves itself as well as other Pokemon by having drizzle. So very might make it viable. Might be just enough. Grass fairy. Grass Fairy, very cool. And then Pelipper's Data also added to the decks. Uh, would you like to give Pelipper a nickname? No, I wouldn't. And uh, we're not actually going to use it. Uh, do I want to keep... I don't really want to just keep running around endlessly in that water. I, I was giving it a chance to see something new. We saw the that one fish bruxish or whatever so let's keep moving this way uh route 13 one last oasis before the desert sands maybe when i reach the desert sands i'll be able to catch that sandy gas hey it's how hi G hi geo hi how i heard the news from sophocles you helped him with testing the kind yeah the totem calling machine or whatever i guess i was test subject number two but i managed to get through the trial Maybe even manage to get a bit stronger, eh? Here, Jiro, I want you to take this. A max potion. This guy's so nice. He's always giving me stuff. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you... <laughs> it's Gladian. Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Yeah, he's back. Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? N not that we'd tell you. So you know something. He doesn't know that. We would say that even if we didn't know something. 
A disaster. Wait, no, he's talking about a disaster. How he's saying a disaster, like a real disaster? What are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you know where Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care. But I'm just going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean? No matter what? You're just going to leave us hanging? Huh. Blah, blah, blah. Don't really know what's going on, but we got to keep both of them safe, right? Well, I'm on to the next trial, getting even stronger. I'm going to compete my island challenge. I'm going to get Tapu Koko to recognize my strength. And I'm going to be the next island kahuna. I want to make sure some people... <laughs> uh, he wants us to both be champions. That's cool. He really just wants to be a kahuna, I think. I thought we were going to battle there. Uh, I suppose not. Does, top, does Tapu Village have something to do with the Tapu, the Guardians? Let's go into here. How can we keep running into Gladian in weird places? Someone leaves a Pokemon like that behind? That Pokemon in the gra in the guest room has been waiting for its trainer forever? Oh no, is this going to be something super sad? Oh my god, it's a Stuffle! Oh my god, no, this is so sad. <laughs> Poor guy. Hi, yo, Mudsdale. Oh, wait, I like to pretend that I'm like that hero we used to blah, blah, blah as a kid. Okay, very cool. Good for you. Don't care. Checking to see if there's any items kind of in any nooks here. I don't smell anything. Um, got a regular item here, not hiding in uh, anything. A moonstone. Do I have anything that I'm waiting to evolve at the moment that might be used by a moonstone? No, uh, the fairy that I have has already evolved. Spin, spin? It's a spinda. Desert Oasis. Can I... I can't get to that water. Uh, Zygarde Core here. Uh, we see an area up top that I can't access yet. An old man here talking to his Probo Pass. Uh, this is the desert. Probably not going to let me in. I have to pass the ghost type trial, and there's a poly world there trying to muscle me. He's like one of those weak bouncers that thinks he's all hardcore, like flicking on the nose and stuff. Look. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. it's an orange guru. Got a little trailer here. Can I go in? Yes, I can. Who's in the trailer? What's in the box? The heck do you think you're doing? How did someone tell you come in here? Not that I'm doing anything here. I haven't done nothing. You want to scrap? Yeah, let's fight. You. You what? Uh, no, 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 I ain't got time for you. I'll just beat you silly anyway. Not worth it. So I'll come leave you with this. Use it to train up. Come back when you're worth my time. Taunt. Nah, that's funny. I taunted him. Who's the taunter? Pseudo Wudo! Still in the cut. What a little. This is cool, a little RV trailer park, a lot of little punks around here, talking about the tapus. There's a book on the shelf. <sighs> I mean, it's probably, that's, I'm willing to bet that's the only item that I can find here. What is this? This is, um, Tapu Village, okay. That was probably where we were supposed to go next. I just wanted to check and see if there's anything else on this route that we were missing. Something down here. Trainer tips. Uh, you can see the numbers. Seen numbers on the festival icon in the X menu in the lower screen. It shows how many people are currently connected via your local wireless connection. There was a, uh, a little z small rustling water down there. So I could have fished. He's going to fish up every water type in the Alolan Seas. Well, good for you. So we've got to pass the ghost type thing. At least we know where we're going next. So this is Tapu Village. Um, we can kind of explore the village a little bit. But I think the trial is going to have to be another episode. I don't know what's going on here. It's a little running zone. There's Hal. Geo! Geo! Over here! Seems like we're almost at the Aether House. They're talking. Look, construction workers. This must be what Kakui was talking about. They're making a Pokemon League on top of Lanikala? Pokemon that Pokemon Leagues and told me that 
Pokemon leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in the, in the leagues. They call them the Elite Four, the Elite Four, and our Island Kahunas. I wonder which ones are stronger. I can't wait to find out. Interesting to think about. A lot of NPCs around here. Oh, well, let me read. They want to say Tapu Bulu destroyed the supermarket in its rage. But that's not right. It's the people who themselves who are to blame. It's our thrifty Mega Mart. Oh, there's a Zygarde cube there. Thought so. A trainer tip. Wild Pokemon that appear on Poke Pelago's Isle of Beans sometimes decide to stay with you. What does that mean? Uh, we've got an area down here. This is Route 14. Don't think we're supposed to go there yet. Tapu Village has grass in it for catching Pokemon, which is cool. Uh, and up here is Route 15, but also if you look at the mini-map, it's the little flag. Beat every trainer on Route 15. So, oh man, a lot, a lot to go, a lot of places just popped up on the villa uh, route 14 route 15 the trial that we're supposed to go to and an area that we have to backtrack to that we can't go to yet but i'm gonna check the grass here to see if there's anything new it's a gumshoe uh, i'm gonna go rest up my pokemon and uh, check out what's going on in the pmc going on in here you got a guy standing over here you ever visit the poke Pelago, you get a lot of poke beans if you leave your pokemon there to play a few professors here a guy named colrus he was bragging to me about how his wearables are cooler cooled with water so they stay comfortable do you have a haunter i'll trade for my graveler if you have one uh, i don't need your graveler but, I mean, that's a useful... I'll, I'll list that under my key figures. Uh, Tapu Village. Trade Haunter Graveler. Tapu Village. Cool. Another key figure found. Get a little Grimer hanging out in the corner. Grimer. And a person sitting here talking about stealing HP. So we got this little, is it raining? Does that, I haven't really been paying attention, but does that mean it's raining in battle? Are we in like heavy rain right now? Ooh, a Snorunt. So not a, not a new, Pokemon in the sense that um, it's not it's not new to Gen 7, but we haven't caught a Snorunt before, and more importantly, it emphasizes something uh, more significant, which is that there are new Pokemon here, not just Gumshoes and and weak stuff. There's actually a Snorunt, which will evolve into a Glalie. Snorunt was caught, which means that. We've seen two Pokemon in this area. There's usually like four different species, or maybe five, I don't know. It kind of depends where you're at. Um, I see three there. Normally, Snorunt evolves into Glalie, and that's it. I mean, I know there's Mega Glalie. Are they... I mean, we haven't seen Megastone or anything yet, so... It can only survive in cold areas. It bounces happily around even environments as cold as a negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. We might want to use this. Uh, let's add it to the party. Just to evolve it. We don't need Shyanotic anymore. We don't really need Golem, but Golem's pretty cool. So I'm going to keep Golem around until we see uh, another Alolan Pokemon. Uh, and we're going to see what else we have in the grass here. I just want to see, like, there's probably a couple of more types. I just want to see what they are. So, second gumshoes found. Uh, and we've seen Snorunt. 
If there's like a vanilla ice out here, Vanillux. So we're about seven battles deep at this point, and uh, I'm think I've only seen Gumshoes and Snorrent, so I'm assuming that's the only poke I spoke to. So I was about to say I should leave because that's probably the only Pokemon there are here. But then we run into an Absol, which is incredible. Um, oh, that's really cool. So we pick up an Absol. And uh, that emphasizes the point that there are more than just the Snorunt and the Glalie there. And more important, Snorunt, not the Glalie. Glalie is the evolved form of Snorunt. Um, there's a Gumshoe. Gumshoe is the other one. So we've seen three different types of Pokemon so far. I should probably go back to... I should probably go back to the mountain now that I think about it, but I, I feel like we've been in mountain ranges before. We saw the Torkoal. Maybe I could go back see what else is there. We see another Absol. All right, that's enough searching. I think we've given it a, a good shot. We've done 10 battles, so if there's a 10% chance that a Pokemon would show up, it would have shown up by now. I'm going to call that a fair enough run for checking an area. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing this, uh, I saw a comment on one of my videos that said that they, they wish I would check for Pokemon a little bit more, so I will try and do that. I apologize. Sometimes I, I get like a gut feeling that there's not really anything there, and so I, I kind of just let it be. Uh, but we're going to head up here now. And what have we here? Aether House, where Pokemon and people huddle together. Enter we shall. Oh, it's an Oranguru. And how? So this is the Aether House, huh? Stranger, stranger danger. This means battle. What? Why? We'll protect our home when Akarola's away. Oh, Akarola lives here. Just like I said, that's the girl that's hanging out with Lily right now. I said she looked kind of ghoulish, and she turns out... And I even predicted that she's going to be the captain of this trial, and she is. Called it. This guy's got an Ella kid. Arms swinging like an Ella kid. So we have defeated the child. Phew. So I won, yeah? So I had a little foe still gnawing on me. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr